What's up, creatives? L up on set from ksound.com. Just did a video regarding routing in Impact XT in Studio One 4. And then I've gotten a question, a very interesting question. They say, well, I understand how to route everything from pad to its own individual track, but how can I see that in a range window? Now, it doesn't quite work that way. See, it, it's set up a little, little different. This is MIDI. We're dealing with instruments. When you are routing from each individual pad, it's this one instrument, right? And you're giving it individual tracks. And these are your routing here, your different tracks, your channels, whatever you want to call it. Now, Here's something cool that I could show you that could make some sense to it in, in regards to um, routing and having more control of each sound. And that's going to be uh, a concept called Explode to Pitches. So I came up with a little groove here. I'm still working on it, so I'll, I'll just put something together right quick. Right, so let's add a hi-hat. Let me find hi-hats. Let's use that. Turn on the note repeat here. Activate. I think I want to Now the note repeat just sounds funky, but I mean it promise I promise you it 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 uh, work 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 itself out. Two, three, four. It's right, like that that doesn't make sense. Like how how is it that it sounds crazy at first and then it, it locks in place? Um they need to fix that. But anyway, we have everything in here. And once I double click on this region here, we can see everything we inserted as far as all the drums. And I'm just go ahead and highlight everything and like quantize it in place again, put everything in perspective. So now we have 808s and then we have a snare and a hi-hat, right? So what I did with these 808s right here, I just have those routed to mono one, both of these here. I think this is the standard we're using. So this is stereo two. Uh, and we could just see. So, so that's snare. Let's label that now. Snare, right? And we'll just label those 808, right? And then this is another kick right here. I'll just label that kick, right? So what we're doing here is we're just labeling things. And so this is, this, this is what I want to do. Oh, this is my hi-hats right here. Now in here, anyway, I, I, I'm not going to, I was going to duplicate what I did with the hi-hats at the fifth bar, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do that after I show you what, uh, what I'm trying to show you. Okay. So, but I do know that I want to turn the hi-hats down. Right. So if we explode this here to pictures, I have a key command on my keyboard. I can hit control E, but you have to find that in keyboard short codes. Just type in explode to pitches right here. And you can set your key command to whatever you want it to be, right? Or you can always right click. It's right here because that's the last thing we've dealt with. But go to instrument parts and you can see where it says explode to pitches and also 
have the actual key command labeled on the side of it. If I explode this to pictures, and basically what it is, on your keyboard, you know that each each sound has a dedicated a dedicated sample to each sound, right? These pads is what corresponds to the keyboard. So when you think about it, when you explode two pitches, you just explode in everything. Now, this is steel. We're we're looking at MIDI. Now, I've I've explained this before. I've, I've explained this many times. This is a con. This is a concept I like using when I'm doing my thing here. Um, this is really cool. So, what I could do is say, let's play that from the beginning. We're gonna solo that. So that's my hi hat. Now we're in a whole different world right now because this has nothing to do with the tracks below so this is extra steps if you will but if you care to go through the step then this is what it is we're going to label that as hi-hat and okay so what is this so we say this is that this is that kick right so i'm just relabel that kick and so th this is the 808, right? And then this one here is. This is that snare. Right? This is that. 808. The second 808 or the high 808. I can actually rearrange it where both of these 808s are like right right on each other. I can arrange them all day long, which is a cool factor of what we're doing. But again, it has nothing to do with this routing down here. Now, smooth the snare up. Okay. I think uh, I like that. Just like that. Now. Here's the thing when like if, if you're thinking in music production, when you creating um, the cool thing about this is that you can go to individual tracks in their range window and say, OK, I want to add continue adding the snare. You know, you know, I want to I want to do something regarding the snare. I could just go to this track by itself and add a snare part or I could double click in here I can see everything like the editing or whatever or I could switch to regular piano roll and I can see what's going on right so right or or I can come here and you know what I mean and, and do what I need to do like regular editing you know it's, it's Actually, let's see. Let's move that. Right. So I could do whatever I need to do. And keep in mind, the routing is separate. I said that many times. I just want to make that clear, you know, to you guys. So if I click here. This is just routing. <laughs> I'm saying it again. It has nothing to do with these. But what I did here, this is totally separate. But it's all under the impact right here. This is the impact instrument. All I did was took all of this and just expand everything. Now everything has its own lane in terms of MIDI, that is. Right? And so this is what I was trying to do earlier. I was going to just take this here and duplicate it. Now I have that other. Right. Or I can do things like this. You know, I can. Uh, this is what I wanted to do. Everything resumes as as you were right. Nothing different. As far as like editing MIDI and that type of thing. Same thing as before. Tool 
to me, in my opinion, I feel like Studio One is dope because you have several ways of doing something. Like it's just dope. It's just, you just need to pick your lane, pick your method, and stick with that. And if and you know whatever makes it easy for you. So me, for instance, if you come to the point where you say you like what you're doing because this, you know, the range window can get pretty clouded, you know what I mean? Or crowded, should I say? And it, it can, you know, there's a lot of things going on. And the cool thing about this is I could just take all of this, right? And highlight it. I don't have to do anything else. And I can export this down or bounce it down to audio and this is something I like to do so I, I also have a command for that which is um, alt or option B but again you have to go into the key shortcuts and set a command for something that works for what, what, what you're trying to do and with one command it bounced everything in place the way that I have it you know, as it as it was in MIDI form, and now it's bounced down like this, and so I could take this, take that, highlight that, and I can bring this down. You know, separated from the tracks here, and all of my MIDI tracks are now muted. Now, this is the only time that your tracks correspond with each other whatever's going on in the range window and in the mixer window they all line up and they do the same thing so now i have control over the track in the range window because it's audio now it's not midi midi works totally different but audio you have that control in terms of uh both windows talking to each other this is the only time you can do that I hope I cleared this up for the person who asked me that, right? And I know that some people, some other people are going to ask me the same questions because it, it kind of always happened like that for me. So I went ahead and knocked the video out. All right. My name is Ella. Once again, ksound.com. Remember, music is art. You're the artist. Paint your picture. Stay creative without rules. I'm out. Enroll right now and unleash the creativity that lies within you. KU.creative.com Creative University Stay creative without rules One more thing If this voice intrigue you And the music make your soul move My name is Ella Thank you <laughs> I'm done